But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. If this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, sorry for making you wait a little bit. Um, you know, uh, I just uh, got the news actually two days ago and I wanted to make a video about it. But I said to myself, let me wait. And the one who sent me the link, I told him, uh, I told him actually what I guess, how what happened. However, when those four Muslims, they got shot, CNN, CBC, NBC, all the CC, BC, SUC, SUSU, all of them, they accuse the Islamophobic. And who are they, the Islamophobic? I mean, there's nobody in the world have a phobia as much as Muslim does. They have phobia from pork, have phobia from Christians, have phobia from Jews, have phobia from atheists, have phobia from gays, have phobia from everybody. I mean, just anything caused them phobia and yet they accuse others of islamophobic and a few days ago actually the link i received it says news islamophobia but it wasn't from a jazeera this is a jazeera now it was from yahoo a jazeera tv and look at the title there islamophobia they have a section for it brother there's a section for islamophobia in a jazeera tv i mean this is the country of terrorists this is the country where Trump himself, he went in TV in the front of the White House and he said Qatar should stop supporting terrorism. How many Christian they killed? How many Shia they killed? The Prince of Qatar. All the war of Syria is sponsored, all the terrorists, all the money is coming from Qatar specifically. So, four Muslims get killed, and for sure we are against anyone to get harmed. Doesn't matter if you are a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddha, doesn't matter. Crimes is a crimes. But the story here is different. Anything happened to Muslims, just because you are a Muslim, always you are a victim of a hate crime, when in fact, the number one discriminated in the world is the Christians, even in USA. The left and the liberals are burning churches. In USA, go search right now how many churches attack on Catholic church just because they oppose abortion. Just go check. They target specifically Catholic church. Biden don't speak about it. He doesn't upset. But Biden, he heard the news that there is four Muslims killed in the state of New Mexico. So Biden right away he is the one who protects life. He is a brew abortion, but he is brew life in the same time. No place, Biden said. Biden denounced killing of four Muslims. And then Islamophobia and hate crimes and CNN. I mean, let us see what CNN does say. Is no better. Hate, brother, hate crime. 
hate a crime. Okay. How you know it's hate a crime? I mean, they are there is people get shot in this country every day. There is people they do drugs. There is people they uh, uh, they do prostitution. There is people do do human. How you know right away? I mean, how the conclusion come to their head just because they are for Muslims? How many people in that town was shot within a year? And if I search right now for the word hate in the CNN page, there we go, hateful shooting, hateful shooting, hateful shooting, horrific, hateful. And guess what? Yesterday they discovered that the one who shot the four Muslim is a Muslim. The one who shot the four Muslims after all this drama and governors and secretary of a state and FBI and congressmen, Congress, you know, it turned to be that the one who killed them, his name is Muhammad too. If you remember, the same story happened in Detroit, I think two years ago, or a year ago, I'm not sure. When a Muslim who do dawah, he was killed. And he took crime, Islamophobic, uh, you know, the same. Then they find out it was a Muslim who killed him. New Mexico police charge suspect in ambush style killing a Muslim. Killing of a Muslim man. I mean, even after they, they capture the guy and he's a Muslim, still they are saying the title killing a Muslims. I mean, do you see how they play with the title? I mean, if the guy who killed him is a Muslim, why you are adding the word Muslim to the victim? Is he different? Like, is he coming from the sky? He's a victim now. He's a Muslim. If a gun man charged in killing of two Muslims and he is in connection of the, the total four. If you go back on time, you will see how it is a hate crime, Islamophobic, you know, killing four Muslims. The whole world is a crime. You know how many people get killed yesterday in Nigeria? How many got killed yesterday Christians in Mali? Do you know? Nobody talk about them. Why? Because they are black and they are African and they are poor and they are Christians. You have all the qualification to be ignored. Your blood is for free. Nobody in USA is speaking about killing Christians in Africa. Nobody. I mean, look what we are talking about and look what people they post in the chat. Is it time now to talk about the prophecy about the Messiah? Because they are hypocrite and they want to use it for their, for their own propaganda, it's a paradox. Suddenly, as if the Muslims are not like us and they are higher species and we are the lower species, there is people get killed every day. And wait until you see what happened. If the guy is really is is uh, is uh, doing it because of hate crime, first you find him. Second, you question him. And when you confirm that he did it and he is really doing it because of hate, then it's a hate crime, and we are against it. And now, how embarrassing is after all this noise? articles Biden go in TV and he make a speech and you know etc and you know we have to fight hate you know nobody is hateful as you are Mr. Biden you are a hateful person you hate the children you hate babies you hate Christianity you hate Christians and you caught Muhammad who said he ordered to kill the Christians to kill the Jews They are supporting the one who says that they should kill the Jews and kill the Christians. 
They support the man who said that the Muslim have a duty to bring a human being and put a chain around his neck. Isn't it this is the same man who quoted Muhammad saying that the Prophet of Allah, he said, that if a Muslim, he sees something wrong, he should change it with his hand. He's asking them to do, to act terrorism. This is what Al-Qaeda they do. Al-Qaeda they say, we see something wrong, we are going to change it, we don't like you. Is that Muhammad who says that a Muslim have a duty to bring every mankind with the chain around his neck like a dog? Then they support Islam and they try to make it that we, they are the victims when wherever you go. What about we talk about Christians in Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Somalia, Nigeria, I mean you name it. What about we stand against hate? It doesn't matter come from who, if you are really truthful. If you are truthful, you should ban the Quran from USA. Because the Quran teach hate. Can you believe it or not? The Quran teach that Jewish Allah, he made them pigs and monkeys. You believe it or not? The Quran saying that the most enemy to Muslims are those who they call Jews. You believe it or not, Muhammad, he says, that time will come. And a Jew, he will hide behind a rock or a tree. And the rock and the tree will scream, says, come, there is a Jew behind me, kill him. We don't say things, by the way, without proofs and reference. Who is the one is a victim of a hate of crime? Why all of them, they want to fight Israel? Because they are Jews. Very simple. The Ottoman, they occupy the Arab for hundreds of years. They were fine with it. The Albanian, they did rule Egypt for more than a thousand years. Imagine people from Albania. From Albania, they came as slaves by Muslims. They became Muslims after that. And then they ruled the country for a thousand years. Muslims don't complain because they are Muslims. The second you are a Jew, you are a Christian, that's it. Why those false people on office, they have different treatment just because you are a Muslim? Isn't it all mankind in equal? In Islam, no. Mankind are not equal. As you see, Muhammad, he made it clear that they are the best of mankind. And what their duty is? To bring non-Muslims with the chain around their necks like dogs. So if a Muslim, he killed in any town, right away they will accuse somebody of hate crime. How you know? Why? Al Jazeera TV, which is run by Qatar, it's a it's a country who love and support love between people, man. To the point, Osama bin Laden he will not do interview except with Al Jazeera TV. Al Qaeda in Syria will not do any interview except with Al Jazeera TV. Al Zawahiri, Al Baghdadi. I mean, all the terrorists in the world, they will not speak to any TV except Al Jazeera TV. And Al Jazeera TV, they want to school us about hate crimes. And the stupid Joe Biden, he jumped right away because, you know, this guy is a failure in everything. He is a failure even to make a spaghetti. If they tell him make a spaghetti, he will burn it. He could not even wear his jacket. He came out from the airplane and he started putting his hand inside the sleeves. And Joe Biden is a train. And after all the tries, he could not put it there. His son is a drug dealer. He sells circuit information to the Chinese. He got billions of dollars and nobody can explain. 
He got a job in Ukraine, the vice president of a petroleum company. The guy, he do not know anything about gas except this gas station where he fill up his gas. So how come he became a vice president for Ukrainian company? So those cowards, they always look for event to shine their face, to make themselves like, ah, yeah, the murderer, you know? There is no place for hate crimes in USA. But if you are a Christian, we burn out your church. They went even to threat the Supreme Court judges just because they don't agree with them. Which is a crime, according to USA, by the way. If you try to intimidate a Supreme Court judge, even a normal judge, if you try to intimidate him to change his decision, that is a crime by itself. They took Ilhan Omar, those who hate Israel, and suddenly they love the Democrat, they took them all and they stand in the front of Supreme Court and they fake an arrest, you know, because the police is liberal like them. You know, welcome to Washington, D.C. And then we find that the one who killed those four people is a Muslim. He is from Afghanistan, and his name is Muhammad. Not only he is from Afghanistan. Let me check. Let me let me find the news. Okay. And look, look at that. You know, like New York Times. New York Times news, brother. Hmm? The Muslim community they are fearing for their life. The shooting of poor Muslims, men, since November, may be connected. And that is putting fear in the heart of immigrants and refugee. New York Times. I and mean, what you can say? Who knows better? New York Times knows everything. You know the thing. And Islamophobic and hate crime, you know. And then they discover that the guy, his name is Muhammad Sayyid. He is 51 years old. He will be charged in two killing, and they are thinking, they, you know, they will, they are trying to prove it that he is the one who killed the other two. Article after article, interview after interview. The president of a vice president of a student association in whatever state in Mexico, we fear for our life. Muslims are not safe no more. And then it's a Muslim killing Muslims. As usual. Who killed the grandsons of Muhammad? Muslims. Who killed the Caliphate of Muhammad? Muslims. Who killed Ali? Muslims. So here we see the hypocrisy and how those who work in office, they right away accuse others. They are like Obama, like the same scam of Obama. If I go in time for the news about the same thing just a few days ago, hate a crime, hate a crime. Do you see it? It's all over. We are the victims of hate crime because of Islam is hate. There is a sign in Saudi Arabia that says Muslims only because of the phobia of Islam. Imagine if we have a sign in the highway in USA it says Christians or Hindus or Buddhas or atheists only.
And those are coming from Pakistan and Afghanistan and they are talking about hate crime. How you treat the Christian there when you were in, 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 in those countries? Can you tell me how the how nice the life of a Christians in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in Saudi Arabia? Have you ever heard of a country? One hundred percent of the citizen of it is just Muslims. There's no atheist in Saudi Arabia. There's no gays. There's no lesbian. There's no Christians. There's no Hindus. There's, you go to the office, who is the citizen? 100% Muslim, and they all of, they have to be Muslims. Is that because, you know, they are like open and friendly, and Islam teach uh, peace and love, and so what? If he is a Hindu, he is welcome, you know? He can be a citizen. Can you? Can you be a citizen? In this country, Muslim, they come. Just brought 100,000 Muslims from Afghanistan. Few years after now, they will be citizens. And they say that this is the land of the Kuffar. Do you know that if you work in, in, in Saudi Arabia, you cannot die in Saudi Arabia? To explain to you, you cannot be buried in Saudi Arabia. There's no graveyard, not a single graveyard for non-Muslim in Saudi Arabia. So what they do? You die, they put you in the box, they put you in the freezer, they contact your embassy, we will ship this guy for you, he died. He's a Hindu, he's not allowed to be buried here. Only Muslims can be buried in Saudi Arabia. I mean, do you see how lovely this religion is? They complain about phobia when this is the religion of the phobia. Is that your sign? Muslim only? And the one in red for non-Muslims? Which means if you go there, you will lose your head? How many citizens in Qatar, which is running the Jazeera TV, is non-Muslim, brother? How many People who they get citizenship in Qatar and they are uh, atheists or uh, gays or, uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> this is always a phobia. The phobia is there. It's not here. And those cowards like Joe Biden and anyone in office who try to take opportunity just to shine their face They are ashamed to themselves. We are against any hate. It doesn't matter what the hate and who is the one making the hate. It doesn't matter if it's against Muslim, against Hindu, against Christians, against Jews, doesn't against anyone. So if you are against hate, well, how come you quote your filthy Joe Biden the statement of Muhammad of terrorism in your election? Isn't it this is the guy who said that Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of judgment? You are quoting him? Why you don't quote this one? Why Joe Biden, he don't go in TV and he quote such a beautiful verse? Or the one about the Jews? Huh? The same one is about the Jews too. They are liars, they are cowards, and they never say the truth. And the left, the Democrat, they are a bunch of stupid, actually. I cannot, I cannot understand how anyone can be a Democrat for a second. I mean, everything in this party is wrong. Look, we are going to fix everything Trump he did, and then we fix it. So now the price of gasoline is $7. I just went to do shopping. I used to like a $100 can, you know, can feed me for a few days. I don't know the $100 is gone. I don't know what I buy.
He fixed everything. Human trafficking. He ran like a cat from Afghanistan. When the when when, when Trump he was there, the, those Taliban did not dare even to shoot a, a bullet. They fixed everything. But guess what? In the coming election, Biden, we will fix you. Hmm? We are going to take the Congress back and we are going to take the Senate back and you will be hummus. You will be the joke of everybody. And in the election after that for a presidency, let us see how you can corrupt the election this time. Let us see. Who is going to elect such an idiot? I mean, the guy don't remember his name. What's your name? Who is the God? Did you know the thing? And he go on TV and he says, in July, the inflation is zero. Go to the shelf and see if this is true or not. What zero? They want to destroy this country. They are hypocrite. They are cowards. And they are looking for opportunity to shine their self. How long they spoke about they will hire tax for the rich ones? Biden, every day he want to speak about it. Democrat, hey, the rich ones are not paying. And now here we go, they made a tax bill. The rich will not pay anything. It is us, the poor, who will pay. They lie. Everything about them is a lie. I'm so glad that they, you know, they got this criminal who killed those four Muslims. I don't know what his motivation is. But obviously, he is a criminal. As long as he killed four, he can kill more. So I'm glad that they got him. But it's very upsetting that you accuse non-Muslims right away, make it as a hate crime, make it about religion. When in fact, I mean, how you, why you jump to a conclusion? Do you see Muslims are being shot in the street everywhere? What happened? Go right now and check how many Christians get killed every day just because they are Christians in Islamic countries. How many Christian women, children, get napped and taken by Boko Haram and the Shabab organization and etc. and the baby of Muhammad? How many Yazidi? How many Kurdish? And you know, articles about the Muslim society in the city, they are living in fear. Now they cannot go out to throw their garbage because they might, you know, somebody, you know, he will ambush them. Uh, people, they are thinking to leave the town, you know. You see, the phobia you created will make people leave the town. The phobia they, the phobia they created will make people run. This is a police state. If you don't agree with them, I don't know, maybe I will come to me tomorrow. You know, this Joe Biden is like a dog. The second you, you know, he see that you are risky for him, he will, he will unleash his dogs on you. This country, they're trying to make it as if it's Iraq. Saddam Hussein will send you the Secret Service to your house, trying to intimidate you. I mean, the guy, he has 15 boxes in his house. And he is an ex-president. And you send the FBI to jump over his wall? What about Hillary Clinton? She took the whole computer. What about Obama? There's 50 million pages from the archive is missing. He took them with him. With him. 50 million pages, not five pages.
Get out of here, Eliza. Horny Muslim women. Anytime, admins, you see this woman here, just block her, this Muslim girl. She's just horny. She want to flirt with men. You see, like I'm a person who speak the truth. I don't care. When, when, uh, when Trump, he do something wrong. You heard me many times speaking against him, right? I don't, I don't take a side. I will never take a side except the truth. But the shoes of Trump is, is better than the, and the oldest team in the White House. At least this guy, when he was in the office, everything is cheap. Food is cheap, gas is cheap. Everybody have a job. We don't go and beg Saudi Arabia to give us gas. Look, he, he went like a dog. Did you see, guys, even how, how the, the crown prince met him? The king did not even meet him. I mean, do you see the insult? The king of Saudi Arabia did not even meet the guy, Biden. And when the crown prince went out to the door, he just gave him a pump in his hand. He did not even shake hands with him. When Trump, he went there, they brought him 60 president and king. 60. Do you see the difference? 60 Muslim president and king. This made them sit like babies and Trump was schooling them. Somebody saying Christian Prince is just a complainer. If he knew better, he should present the law for a idol Christian state. Uh, Enzo, I think it's the time for you to go. What Christian state? We don't want to have a Christian state. We have. We want to have a state for everybody. You are just a stupid idiot. What Christian state? No, we don't want a Christian state. We want. We don't want to be Saudi Arabia. We want people to support the Christian value when they like it. You don't like it, you don't support it. We don't want to be just another Muslim religion. The idea of forcing people to believe in your belief is a clear proof that you are a terrorist. Jesus, he said, like, when you go to a town and people did not accept the word of God, clean your sandals from their dust. Just go. He didn't say kill them. For a reason. Because we don't want people to say yes by hypocrisy. Christianity is a belief. It's not a religion. It's a faith. It's not a system to conquer and to control. The biggest mistake the Christian they did when they became people of control, they start acting like Muhammad. We follow Jesus. We don't follow presidents. You know, if you have a house and you have 10, you have 10 daughters, and then you tell them, if you sleep around, I will kill you. Uh, and they don't sleep around because you will kill them. But doesn't mean they are decent. The second they get a chance, they will do it. But if you are a person who taught your children to believe in God and to do what is right, and then you say to your ten daughters, this is what God said. If you are faithful, don't do what is wrong. Then when they do it, you have really ten decent daughters 
But when you force people to eat pork, doesn't mean really they like pork. You force them. And that will create a nation of hypocrisy. And that's why you go to Muslim worlds. You know, you go to Saudi Arabia, you want to drink alcohol, it's alcohol everywhere. But not in the store. You want to take hashish, it's everywhere. But not in the store. You want to do prostitution, it's everywhere. But it's not in the street. You just cover the dirt under the couch. You know, the dirty people, what they do, when they clean their house, they get the broom, and they push the dirt under the couch. And that's it, it's clean. The dirt is under the couch. This is what happened in Islamic countries. Everything is under the, the, under the couch. Anyway, I just wanted to share this video. I'm so glad they captured this guy who killed those four. I don't want to say four Muslims because they are four human. Does it really matter if they are Muslims or Christian or Jews or, Jews or Hindus? What a shameful media. What a shameful politics. So now if anyone here is a Muslim anywhere in the USA, he get killed, they will accuse somebody of Islamophobia. Oh, he's a Muslim. And this coward, Joe Biden, who have a failure in everything, he tried to shine his face by fake stand. He stand. I stand. You stand with who? You stand with nobody, you coward. You are just a person doing politics. You worship your chair. You die for it. This guy, he spent his life in a high position. Shouldn't he have enough? They worship those chairs. They will never let it go. We as a Christians, we are against anyone who want to commit crime against anyone. We are against someone who want to kill Muslims or Hindus or Jews or Christians or atheists or anyone. The question is, is it the same for Muslims? Is it? In the media, they say the same. They say, yeah, we believe in that. And they will quote for you the Quran. The Quran says, if you killed one innocent man, as if you killed all mankind, but they will not say to you that innocent man in Islam is a Muslim only. Actually, there's a there's a there's an interview. The funny is, you, you know, guys, the interview, this interview in the BBC was done by was done by a person. He wrote, a, he wrote a, a book lately about Islam. Islam is a wonderful religion. And this interview is done by him. I mean, this, this, this another hypocrite in the media, he asked Shawadri, why you don't condemn the killing of innocent people? He said, well, when we say in Islam, yes, you know, we condemn killing of innocent people, but in Islam, when we say uh, innocent, we mean Muslims. The BBC guy who wrote a book now praising Islam, how peaceful it is. He said, are you kidding me? Are you serious? Are you saying that only Muslims are innocent? Actually, I'm trying to find the interview to play it for you. Now, the same guy who had the interview with this man, he wrote a book speaking about how we got Islam wrong. Here we go. This is the same one? No, this is not the same interview. 
Let us see where is the interview. I'm trying to find it. And you know, he was saying the truth. In Islam, all the Muslims are innocent. Anyone is a Muslim, he's not. This is an old interview, but I cannot, I'm trying to find it. Ah, here we go, I found it. I know it from the background. Hmm. Let us see. The funny is that this interview is still in YouTube. YouTube usually delete videos, you know, exposing Islam, as usual. Uh... Here we go, I found the part, I was just screwing uh, around. In the video, so we don't play much of it. You're innocent if you if you are a Muslim, then you're innocent in the eyes of God. If you are non-Muslim, then you're guilty of not believing in God. Yes, there were many victims. You're guilty. They're, guilty. They're, they're guilty you of the same coward who did the interview, he wrote a book about Islam now praising Islam. He said, "Why you don't condemn the killing of innocent people?" When Islam is against uh, killing all innocent people, he said, yes, Islam is against killing innocent people. But you don't understand. Innocent people in Islam is only Muslims. When your own leader, Omar Bakri, said quite simply... Omar Bakri is arrested, and then he was shipped to, to Jordan for supporting Al-Qaeda. I mean, look, look, look at this. The nest of terrorism. Welcome to England. I condemn the killing of innocent people on the 20th. You see, he condemned the killing of innocent people. Taqiyya. 20th of July. Yeah, why why do you say what he said? No, at the, at the end of the day, innocent people, when we say innocent people, we mean Muslims. As far as uh, non-Muslims are concerned, they have, uh, they have not accepted Islam. As far as we're concerned, that is a crime against God. I want but, to be clear about uh, what you're saying. As as this is very important. People, you're no, saying only just, Muslims can count as innocent people. Well, as far as Muslims are concerned, you're innocent if you, if you are a Muslim, then you're innocent in the eyes of God. If you are non-Muslim, then you're guilty of not believing in God. Yes, there were many victims. You're guilty. They're, guilty. They're, they're guilty. Are you of seriously not believing. suggesting that... And this is what the Quran teach. And this is the truth. Just search for BBC, Hard Talk, Radical Islamic Lyric, and Jamshawadri. I just found it. I mean, this is obviously a copy of the video. All right, just search it in, in, in YouTube. But this is the truth. And there's millions of videos like this. But this is what Muhammad said. This guy is saying the truth. But every Muslim, you speak to him, you say Islam is against killing of innocent people. But what they will not say to you, that in Islam, innocent only are Muslims. Only. And then they speak about phobia. They brought those people to England, they gave them salary. They gave them free electricity free health insurance, free school for their kids, their wife she got salary, she got money for every baby she has. They pay for nothing. They work nothing. What is the job of this guy? What do you do for a living? They spend their life eating, drinking, having sex, making babies, and then they curse you at the end of the day. This is the truth. We are not against Muslims. We are against the hateful teaching of Islam. Otherwise, Muslims are people like everybody. We don't believe in race. Even Muhammad, he's racist. And we prove many times how he spoke against black people. Even he claimed that black people are created from the left shoulder of Adam and Allah, he decided to send them to hell.
and the white people they are created from the right shoulder of Adam and he decided to send them to heaven this is the teaching of Muhammad so if you are against hatred you should ban Islam everywhere if you can find me an Islam or a kind of Islam which treat people equally then I will believe you do you know that in Islam that a Muslim if he killed non Muslim even if it's a crime even if it's a murder he will not be killed Muhammad he said that no Muslim shall be killed for killing non Muslim can you believe it why they are not a human well you are guilty so we can kill you And they speak too much and they give you speeches about justice in Islam. Prophet of Allah, peace be upon him. He can solve the problems and, and they create lies. Like Bernard Shaw, he said that if a prophet of Allah Muhammad was exist today, he can fix all the problem in the world by five minutes when drinking his coffee in the morning. This is the statement of Muhammad. A believer shall not be killed for killing an infidel. He will not be killed. Because when you kill non Muslim, it's like killing a cow. A Muslim shall not be killed for killing a business believer. And not only that. The price of a blood, the Muslim, they believe in price of a blood. Like if you kill a Muslim, like now those people, if he live in Islamic countries, he killed four, no problem. If you have money, he can go to their houses, the family. He says, I will pay you how much? Just drop your right. And then as if he killed a goat. However, the price of a blood of money in Islam for non-Muslim is half of a human being. It's in front of you. We are not making things up. And the chapter name, the blood money of a disbeliever, for a disbeliever. So, first a Muslim, he will not be killed. If a Muslim kill a Muslim, he will be killed. Unless the family of that Muslim, they accepted money, deal, which is very filthy behavior from a state. You know, not culture, state. This is a state. Like the guy, so the guy who is rich, he go, he threat, you know, imagine, you are from a wealthy family, obviously, and that means you have power, you have men, you have, a, and you are killing people already, and you don't care, obviously, you are very scary. So, you go to the family of those, you know, you go to the wife, you say, listen, your husband die, I can kill your kids too, take the money, take the money and go, all right? If you don't accept, you will see. So the woman, she will accept. She will say, okay. I mean, now I am a widow. I have no no support. You know, he killed my husband. What I will do? Take the money better. But if you are a Christian, you will not be killed. And they will give you, in Iran, the price of a Christian is $450. A cow will cost you five, six times more. A cow is more expensive from killing a Christian in Iran. No Muslim will be killed in Iran for killing non-Muslims. And this is the teaching of Muhammad. And then they speak about peace and equality and Islam is a perfect religion. Islam bring justice. Islam don't discriminate. Islam, 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 Islam discriminate everybody. Islam itself is discrimination for mankind. So just I wanted to share this video with you. Feel free to download it. I don't keep my videos as you know. 
So download it as soon as you can. And again, we stand against hatred. We are against violence. It doesn't matter coming from who. And actually, if a violence comes from a Christian, we are going to be the first one to be against it. People, they have the right to defend themselves, yes. But you don't have the right to attack others and kill them. And that right stands for everybody. A Muslim, he has the right to defend himself. If somebody comes in to kill him, well, defend yourself. Same for you, Christians. Same for you, Hindus. Same for you, atheists. God, he gave you life. Nobody has the right to take it. Nobody. And Muhammad is a criminal. He killed, he took the life of millions because of this filthy man, Muhammad. So before, like what, what Jesus said, before you see the little thing in the eye of somebody, see the big tree in your eye. This is Islam. And this is the phobia religion. Phobia of even even Valentine for them is a threat. Santa Claus is the enemy of Allah. Lizard must be killed. Mickey Mouse, there's a fatwa against his head. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody want to kill Mickey Mouse? It's a cartoon, you idiot. And what Mickey Mouse did exactly? You know, when you say those things, people, they, they, they would have a hard time to believe, right? I mean, what are you talking about? Like, come on, what? They want to kill Mickey Mouse? Yes. He is the enemy of Allah. And the Mujahideen, they are looking for him. Why? Because Allah, he says, there is five enemies. They are his enemy. One of them is Mickey Mouse. And black animals for sure. And then the Muslims, because they have the phobia, anything happened, even a cartoon. I mean, you, you idiot. This cartoon is not made for you. Why you play it in your country? If you don't want it, don't watch it. So he is warning the Muslims. The Muslims are warning. Mickey Mouse is the enemy of Allah. And they are trying to make your children forget their enemy. This is the purpose of this Mickey Mouse. This is the purpose of Mickey Mouse? Yes, because now children, they like Mickey Mouse. And then the Muslim, they will grow and they will forget their hate to the enemy of Allah. And they are talking about phobia. And by the way, Mickey Mouse is saying hello. He's fine, you know. And uh, he's safe. He's under the protection of uh, Secret Service and Joe Biden, you know. Uh, but he is not safe if he is in the house of Trump because Joe Biden will ride it again. Uh, and I'm not sure if Mickey Mouse converted to Islam to fix it. Maybe they can forgive him. But I don't think that would be the, accepted. That's it. Allah is, it is the enemy. What about killing lizard? Lizard. Have you ever heard of a religion? A god. He's God. He created the whole galaxies. This is their enemy. His enemy is a lizard. He's a Mickey Mouse. He's a pig. You want to kill a lizard? Do you want to? Do you want to get uh, like extra? Uh, you know. Let us see. The lizard, the enemy of Allah. Well, here we go. Look, even Muhammad, because he have a phobia from the Jews, he 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 think that lizard they are Jews. Can you believe it? And they speak about phobia. I mean, the guy, he look at the lizard, he don't see lizard, he see Jews. We were with an army of Allah Messenger. We got some lizard. I roasted one lizard. And I brought it to the Messenger of Allah. And placed it before him. He took a stick. And now Muhammad is doing, you know, like... Uh, 
biology study. You know, the scientist, scientist by birth, you know, he's born as a scientist. So he looked at the lizard deeply. Um, okay. And then he says, a group of the children of Israel was transformed into animals of the land. I do not know which animal it was. And he did not eat it, nor forbid it. Muhammad is worried now if he eats lizard. He is eating a Jew. <laughs> like, what the heck? What do you mean? Isn't you in the Quran who says Allah made them pigs and monkeys? Suddenly now they are lizard? And you know, you will notice here that Muhammad is adopting those information from the Hindus. Did you notice? The bad karma, the good karma. If you have a bad karma, the gods will make you a bad animal. Correct? This is what Hindus believe. Muhammad is adopting that. You are the enemy of Allah. He punishes you. He makes you a pig or a monkey. Or a lizard or a rat. Even Muhammad, he saw a rat. Huh? He looked at the rat. He decided that this rat is a Jew and he is Orthodox Jew. Why? Because, uh, you know, he is eating only kosher food. Let me find you the reference. Here we go. Where is the reference? Huh, here we go. A second ago, he said that the Jews became lizard. A day after, he come to different conclusion, they are rats. A week after, they are pigs and monkeys. The Prophet of Allah said, a group of Israel were lost. Nobody knows what they did. But I do not see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats. For if you put the milk of a she camel in front of a rat, it will not drink it. But if the milk of a sheep put in front of it, it will drink it. Conclusion. So Muhammad, he said to himself, Ah, Moshe, the prophet of Allah, he forbid the Jews from eating camel meat, drinking camel milk. Now, this is a rat. And look, he is following the Torah. He's a good believer. Look, look, he is cursed, yes. He was a Jew, became a rat, yes. But even after he became a rat, he is following the Torah, brother. I mean, do you see how conservative this guy is? So why God punish him? I mean, obviously, he's a good guy. He is following the law even after he became a rat. And hey, Muhammad, as long as even rats refuse to drink she camel milk and eat it, why you do that? The Muslim they claim that they are following the Torah. <laughs> so why, why you drink the camel milk? And not only that, Muhammad he ordered them to drink the camel urine. The rat refused to drink the camel milk. Muhammad he drank the camel urine. May Allah bless your stomach, Muhammad. Hmm? So you see, this is the phobia. This is hate. This guy, he hated the Jews. He looked around him. Anything is, you know, not anything. Rats, lizards, monkeys, pigs, anything. Phobia. And then the Muslim, they make for you a video that there is a cat because cats in, Muslim, in Islamic countries are Muslims. Subhanallah. Dogs are not. Dogs are filthy. Cats are Muslims. A cat, she is avoiding to step in the Quran. I mean, how we can forget that? And then everybody shared the video. Millions of people. Reaction. There's some people, they are scam. You know, they call themselves Christians. A reaction for the cat video. It became a, it became a movie. A reaction for what? Reaction, let me type. For cat does not step on Quran. Man. I mean, look, 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 look. 
Look, this is a Catholic girl, by the way. I mean, you can tell she is a Catholic. I mean, look at her face. Look, look, she is a Catholic. I mean, Catholicism is dripping from your face. A Catholic girl, a Catholic react to cat would not walk in the Quran. And this is a Catholic too. All of them are Catholic, or this guy is a Christian. Catholic. Look at this guy. This man is going crazy, emotional. Emotional Christian, because they want to get, you know, like just look at this guy. Christian react. Like all of them are Christians. And then this guy, he came. <laughs> I wish I have a cat to do it myself, but I don't. Hi, everyone. A lot of Muslims have been sending me videos claiming that a cat will not walk on the Quran. And they're presenting this as evidence for Islam. Evidence that proves that the Quran is the word of God. <laughs> لو تكون أرضنا كالمرمى Look at those Qurans. Look at those Arabic, Arabic Qurans. Let's take away the food. The cat is still standing on a Quran. A cat will not walk on the Quran. That's the Arabic right there. Oh, there's no audio. Sorry, my microphone was. I got my coffee. I was saying, I have a proof that this cat, she is an outlaw, and David Wood, he did hire her. She is addicted to drugs. Look at her ass. You see the drugs? The drugs is coming out. You see, I mean, subhanallah, subhanallah, you cannot hide the truth. She left up her, her, her tail, and her ass is exposed. And the drugs is there. So he gave her drugs, and now she is not aware of what she is doing. You know what drugs does? She's walking all over the place. Did you notice even her steps is not balanced? We know what the, those uh, mushrikeen they do, the kuffar. They are trying to, you know, stop the light of Allah. How they stop the light of Allah? 
We you know it's here. Here we go. The light of Allah. You can stop the light of Allah. A reaction for the video, and everybody is doing a reaction, and suddenly it became a drama. Think of the Quran that this cat is walking all over for a piece of string. It's not even going for food. This cat has absolutely no respect whatsoever for the Quran. Do you know why? It's because cats have absolutely no respect for anything. Is this cat possessed by a jinn? No respect for the Quran whatsoever. Some cats like laser pointers. Come here. Come here. Will you walk on the Quran for a laser point? Ah, now what you know what we do, what he did. He point the laser at her, at her, so she will be confused. You know, I remember when I was in the army, brother. We used to use the laser, like we have, like I remember once, once, uh, like uh, five hundred thousand people attacked me. I was alone in the army. This is a true story, by the way. Sahir Bukhari. Five hundred thousand. All of them they are Roman. I was the only Muslim. So I got the laser and I pointed the laser at their eyes and they weren't blind. And they were walking all over the place. And they start stepping in the in the bomb field. And boom, 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 boom. And I was like watching cartoon, Mickey Mouse, subhanAllah. And this is a true story. So this guy, he is using, it's in his hand. Even he said that, did you hear him? He have a laser. He is pointing the laser, the laser in the video. It is in his hand, and we have evidence. He cannot hide. He cannot hide it. You know. He cannot hide it. It's okay. You know. It's so easy to get this cat to walk on the Quran. She's seeking knowledge from the Quran. This is true. This is the only true thing in the video. The cat. She is seeking knowledge. You know, react business these days is a business. You know, anyone in his comeback, he want to make money. He make a video about react to the Quran. And the Muslim, just because you say you are Christian, they love, by the way, if you put Catholic, man, because Catholic for them is the top enemy for Allah. So they make those titles because they knew that those fools, what they want, I will make a video and I will make like a, a hundred thousand hit, you know, I will I will pay my bills. But here we have to be careful here about what David what he did. First of all, there are no witnesses. You know, in Islam, in order to prove fornication, your wife she is sleeping with you with her boyfriend in your bed, you need to bring four witnesses. So the camera is not proving anything. Four witnesses. Imagine your wife, you enter the bedroom. Your wife, she is in the top of the guy or he's in the top of her. And they are doing a boom, 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 the hippie, you know, music. And now it is time for you to call for Abdul. Hello? Assalamu alaikum. Ahmad, brother Ahmad, can you please come over? Yes, brother, I found my wife with a guy I want you to witness. You have to see, you have to see the penis of the man going in and out. If you see them naked on top of each other, it's not enough. There's no proof. Maybe they are just hugging. Four witnesses, they have to see the penis going in and out. How in the world you can prove? So they have no, you know, proof. David Wood, he failed to provide us four witnesses and they have to be Muslims. She's seeking knowledge. Now the cat is just pawing randomly at the Quran. Oh my goodness. She's destroying my Qurans. So why do Muslims use Stop. arguments like this? Guys, did you hear what he said? She is destroying my Quran. This is not the Quran of Allah. This is his Quran. Now we knew why this cat she was doing this evil act. Because she knew that this is his Quran, not the Quran of Allah. If it's the Quran of Allah, she would never do that. Are you kidding me? You would never, ever, you know?
she's she's a cat. You know, she knew it's haram. It took me one to two seconds over and over again to get this cat to walk all over. Yeah, right. God knows how many times he practiced. And there's a director, action, stop, no, don't do that, repeat again, say this, you know, come on, one second. How are you telling me this is the director, Hollywood, as you know, sound effect, light effect, a, a DJ, I mean, all of them, they are there. You can tell, look, do you look with me, you will see that this is not done on, at home. This is done in the studio. I know, I know. I mean, most of you don't see details. I see details. Do you see here this towel? Do you see it? This is the towel which the director, he used to dry his sweat from shouting. Do you see this faucet? Do you see it? This faucet where all the actors, they got their honey to make their sound better in during the series. Do you see this ball? This is wine because it's part of the movie. They promise the cat that she will get some wine if she join. Look, there's more wine. You don't believe me? Here we go. Look what is this? Isn't it this is wine? What is that? Go far. Go far. I'm telling you. I mean, we have all the we have all the proofs. And if I call my my cousin Muhammad Columbus, detective, he will find even more proofs. You know, I'm just using like little of knowledge I have. You know, it's just little. Subhanallah. You know, Allah inspired me. I see things nobody see, right? And look, and and this is this is additional proof. Do you see the knives? They thread the cat that if she tried to leave before she do the act, she's dead. And this guy, he have all those things behind him. Unbelievable. I mean, those the Christians are very weird. All those proofs is just behind him and he is trying to convince us that he is smart and he got them busted. <laughs> Good to try. Good to try, buddy. Hey. the Quran why do people claim that a cat will not walk on the Quran do you know how you do that do you know how you get those videos you film a bunch of footage of a cat around a Quran and then you post all the clips where the cat doesn't walk on the Quran it's what you and did then it's a miracle want to see how this is done here's a Bible let's see if the cat will walk on the Bible She's standing on the Quran. Oh my goodness. She'll walk on the Quran, but won't walk on the Bible. Come on. Come here. Look. Look, I've got some food for you right here. Come. Walk on the walk on the Bible. Walk on the Bible, cat. Oh my goodness. It's a miracle. This is the new proof that the Bible is the word of God. The cat will not walk on the Bible even for food. Hold on. I need to make a reaction for this now. I'm getting so emotional. I feel like I want to cry. Finally, we got to prove that our God is true God because of a cat. This is what Muslims are saying to us. I mean, do you see the stupidity? The Muslims, they have a prophet who think that the baby is coming from a semen and the semen became a piece of a flesh. And the flesh became a piece of meat. And the piece of meat became a, a, a bunch of bones. And women have a sperm coming from her ribs, and the man's sperm coming from his bone, and the sun set in murky water, and the sun there is a rising place for the sun and setting place for the sun, and the hail is coming from mountains in heaven. I mean, we can count forever, but we can prove that the Quran from Allah, the cat, the cat, my friend. If you can get the cat approval, who care about your mother-in-law? I'm telling you. Listen. Do you have a problem in your marriage? Get a cat. If the cat, she tell your wife, this is what you do. You put your name, you know, and you put other names. Which one you can trust? And I want you to do this. 
the paper which you will write your name in it, dip it in, you know, like put it with some meat for some time alone, you know, okay? And then your wife, you say, okay, wife, listen, whatever this cat decide, because now the cat can decide the fate of God, the fate of religion. So what, what about your marriage? So now, do you agree that the cat know better? If your wife is a Muslim woman, she will say, yes, cat know best, not Allah, you know, cat know best. So cat know best, if the cat, she took your paper, that means she, she are elect. So like, ask your wife, you know, write all the names of men she knew, uh, and put your name there, and let us see if the cat, she will step on you. Hmm. <sighs> and you are telling me that we don't have a, you know, our God is not through God. The cat can solve all the problems. So why do Muslims post arguments like this? Why do they send me arguments like this that are so Look at the deception. Look at the deception. Look, I mean, this, come on. This is not an argument. It's a fact. Do you see how they try to change the news from a fact to an argument? This is not a theory. It's true. Even the Quran says that Allah, he gave the book to all animals and they did not lose any of it. Let me show you. Hmm. And I find it strange, you know, that suddenly the all animals became Muslims, but the Quran says that, that pigs are dirty and blah, 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 and Muhammad and pigs and dogs. and All right. Chapter 6, verse number 38, it says, There is not a moving, between two brackets, living creature on earth, nor a bird that fly with two wings. Oh, by the way, I love it when Allah, he said with two wings. Because there is a different verse in the Quran speaking about how many wings and they would die laughing if you see it. So with two wings, but our community like you. And we have neglected nothing of the book and they will gather all of them in the day of judgment. Imagine animals, they will be gathered the judgment day and they will be judged. I'm telling you, Islam have a deep root with the Hinduism. You know, this is a deep root of Hindu. If you remember once I was debating a Muslim and I said, so are you saying your God Allah will question a mosquito? He said, yes. He said, what you, what you, what Allah will ask her? He said, like, why you drink the blood of this guy? Abdul, this is a mosquito. This is what you do for a living. <laughs> this is her food. <laughs> Muhammad, he said that Allah will question two goats in the day of judgment why they were fighting and hitting the head of each other. Look at the justice. Look, look, look. Maharata Gandhi. Sad guru. Relax. Suddenly, Muhammad is a yoga guru. All of you relax. I want... Imagine now Muhammad is the guru. I want all women to be in the front. Yes, men, go, go back, you know, behind the curtain. Yeah, all of you, yeah, all of you, men, go. All women, yeah, the young ones, yeah, young ones first. Yeah, mm. okay, now, younger, 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 yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Now, I want all of you put your butt up and face me. I want you to stay like this. Close your eyes. If you feel something touching you, don't worry. Be happy. It is the power of Allah. No, 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 don't move. You are not being molested. No, 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 no. This is Allah. Feel it, feel it. You know? Yeah, this is what they do, like those guru, they like the four people. Actually, I want to work. If anyone knows a gym and he is looking for a yoga and in, in, in in what they call it, instructor, I want to do that, man. I love this job. Oh boy. What the heck was this job, you know? 
and the guy is wearing whatever showing his muscles and his like you know and the women wearing god knows what i mean wearing what wearing what wearing nothing what are you talking about wearing what wearing anyway <clears throat> Yeah, it's a very, very, I mean, actually, by the, by the way, this job is very important for society. Imagine if we don't have those gurus and we don't have this yoga, what would happen to women? I mean, come on, just face it. You know, you go to the gym. It is not a gym. It, why do they call it a gym? Why do they call it genie place? Oh, boy. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it's a nude. The new territory. Uh, so, what we can say? And then the Muslim, they found the monkey committed adultery. And the Muslim, he stoned her because she was committing adultery. I mean, imagine, imagine a monkey who believed in Allah. And then she cheat. What do you expect? Hmm? What do you expect? Just think about it. During the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, look, like, look, 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 people before Islam, they are ignorant. But this is a campaign of Muhammad telling what happened. He's witnessing true story about true belief in Allah. I saw a she-monkey surrounded by a number of monkeys they were all stoned in it because it had committed illegal sexual intercourse. Brothers and sisters, imagine yourself, you are a chimpanzee. And you are in love with monkey. She is so beautiful. She is so yummy. She is the dream of your jungle. <laughs> you know? You are so excited because finally you were able to marry her. You bought a tree in the jungle for her. You even go to war to get her some bananas. You fought, you fought with your cousin over a coconut just to give it to her because she was thirsty. And then, and then your beautiful wife, the most beautiful monkey, chimpanzee ever, who have red ass. She give you an ass and she cheat on you. Just think about it. But Allah is all about justice, brother. They found out if you if you know the story, you will die. They will die laughing. Look, this monkey. Look how even man. I mean, you see, I, I'm scared of females. To be honest with you, I mean, they are something. So this monkey, according to the story, uh, her husband he was sleeping over her arm. <laughs> And then she saw another handsome monkey. Oh boy. And he blinked his eye from behind the tree. So she took her hand slowly from under the husband's head. Hmm. Hey Amen. Did your wife ever did that to you? She asked you to sleep over her arm. And the fool you, you took the bait. You said to yourself, oh, she is going nowhere. Otherwise, why she is asking me to sleep over her arm? She took her arm slowly and she went behind the tree and she did a lot of boom, boom. And then when she came back, she put her hand under his head again. She knew her husband. He have a heavy, heavy sleep. Very decent man. I'm uh, sorry, monkey. But then when the monkey, he woke up, he starts sniffing. <laughs> Stupid female monkey, she forgot to wash. You know what happened? The smell is there. So he sniffed her in that place. And right away, he set the alarm. And all the monkeys in town, they gather. And he starts telling them the stories. And I have evidence. And then the Sharia law court, the big monkey, he made a judgment according to Allah and the teaching of Islam. You committed fornication for your husband. So by Allah, we are going to stone you. And by the way, just to be honest here, 
they did not use rocks to stone her. They used coconut. Because I was behind them getting all the coconut which they missed. Oh, man, I got a lot of coconut in that day. <laughs> and you are telling me that Muhammad is not, not a prophet. What's wrong with people? Why people don't see? Why people are blind? Who can come with such a stories? The monkey who got stoned for committing illegals. Look, 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 look. She did what? Illegal sexual intercourse. This is what is killing me in the story. Illegal, you know. I mean, do you see the illegal? Let me let him zoom in because maybe a few, some of you, especially men, after you get married, you lost your vision. You know, I mean, you keep reading bills of a credit card. So she committed illegal sexual intercourse. This is not just, it's illegal. Do you see the details? I mean, we have to be honest here, the details are beyond. It is illegal. If it was legal, I mean, okay, but illegal, and you are a monkey. That is something. Exactly, uh, uh, YZ, look, YZ is a smart person. Let me put your name in the screen, my friend. Do you see what YZ he said? X, X, Y, Z. Man, your name is so short. You should be a president. Better than Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe bite me. Look what uh, X, uh, Y, Z he said. You know, this is a good question. Where is the four witnesses? Where is the four witnesses in the story? Brother, she might be innocent. Because there's no four witnesses now. This monkey, she was killed as a murderer, and there is no proof that she committed adultery. Because we do not have four witnesses. You are right. You get the yeah. brother Thetar. A person, his name is X Y Z. He said that we get no four witnesses. I say to you, first of all, the four witnesses at that time of the exist. This is the same before the Islamic interpretation. What, what, what? This is the same before, before Islam. Ah, so at that time, the law was not given, Zakir? Exactly. And this guy is not even making a good point. This is if it's true, if it's after Islam. But this is the name of Islam. Okay, well, you know, Zakir, by the way, are you following our videos? Christian friends, I'm here to get you busted. What? I'm here to get you busted. You got me busted? You just did? Exactly. You just said, where the four witnesses? Uh, it's not me who said that. It's the guy. His name is Y X X Y Z. Listen, friends. First of all, I know that you use your own name in the chat, and this is you. Come on, Abdul. How I can type and chat and talk? And Christian friends, I know that you are multiple function person, and I know you can do it, and yeah, I know it. Uh, okay, yeah. Mm. Your God is not multifunctional, by the way. Christian friends, respect yourself. But can your God, Allah, be God, in the same time have a son? First of all, Allah is Almighty. So it's not suitable for Allah to have a son. This is not a question. <laughs> it's not a suitable for Allah to have a son. <laughs> and you know, later you will see Muslim saying in the chat, in the comment section, Brother and sisters, Zakir Naik did not call him. This guy is making an audio changing. This is not Zakir Naik, brother. I mean, they are so smart. <laughs> I saw those comments many times in the, in the comment section. To the point, even Muslims, they think it is Zakir Naik, you know? It's not. Prince and Prince, first of all, it's me. And I can prove it for you. How you can prove it? Okay, give me a question. Okay. What verse in the Quran? Chapter 27, verse number you do. What the heck? Zakir, I did not even ask the question. How do you know? Prince and Prince, I know exactly what you are going to say. What? How you do that? Because I'm going to prove to you that I'm Zakir Naik. Oh, Zakir Naik, he knew the verse before the question. Exactly. Ah, because all those who ask questions, they give you the question in advance, and this is a theater. Exactly. <laughs>
Have you ever heard of somebody answer the question before the guy say it? <laughs> because all it's a setup. Unbelievable. Oh boy. Uh, will be fun if we can get get those guys to 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 call us. You know that would be fun, really. And we can we can make a, a monkey as a moderator. You know we can switch coconut. And you know what? The one who win the debate, he will get coconut. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like, you know, like we have a judge, it's a, it's a chimpanzee. So now let us say Zachary Naik, he made two point and Christian Prince zero. So in the front of Zachary Naik, we will put two corner, <laughs> coconuts. <laughs> oh boy. Zachary Naik, because he will win for sure, he will go home and he will have a truck of coconut. A truck, brother. He was the winner. Allah made him win. Yeah, and then he go home and I ask him the question. Is I can make, is coconut is halal? <laughs> and I will say to him, I challenge you to show me one verse in the Quran. It says that coconut is halal. And now I can make what he will do. There's no verse in the Quran speaking about coconut. There's no verse in the Hadith. What we will do, it's halal or haram? Halal or haram? <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, anyway, I I I hope we have a good time together, and we are glad again that they you know they got this criminal who killed those four Muslims, but he's a Muslim too. So we say to the media, stop playing with the phobia stuff. It is you who promote phobia. A bunch of liars. Anything happened to anyone is a Muslim right away. They try to make it because he's a Muslim. And then a TV station like Al Jazeera and CNN, they come to us with their garbage. I'm so glad that their lie has been exposed. And we as our Christians, we love everybody. We don't want hatred. We don't want violence. And actually myself, if I see a Muslim, let us say a Muslim woman, somebody trying to hurt her just because she's a Muslim, I will defend her for sure. I will never allow such a thing to happen. When I was in London, not London, sorry, in, in Germany, there was a woman, she was sitting, uh, you know, like waiting for the bus. And then she want to go check the, you know, there is a sign, like place where they put the announcement. So she went and somebody took her place. And there is a very little place where it is covered and the rain was really strong. She came back. There's nowhere for her. I gave her my place. She was wearing hijab. She's an elder woman. I stood up and I know I will be under the rain. And I gave her my place, my chair. And I will never regret doing that. Because I'm acting as a Christian and I'm doing what is right. And actually was upset that nobody want to move. You know, nobody move, nobody, you know, care. Sure, because, you know, like in Europe now, it doesn't matter if she's a woman or not, right? This is what happened when those liberals, they tried to, to kill the, 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 the you know, like... Uh, uh, the good respect of seeing a woman standing in the train or standing in a bus. So nobody cared. Nobody moved. I gave her my chair. And this is what we will do. And we will never be like Muhammad. If somebody is a criminal, we will stand against him. If he's a terrorist, we will make him shish kebab. If he's a good person, we will never let anyone harm him because of his religion. A Christian person is a person who stands for justice, not for hatred. He supports justice. And justice goes for everybody. In Christianity, justice is for everybody. Not for some people, they are made by God, and there's people, they are animals. Even we believe that we are children of God. 
but a true child of God, he loves even his enemies. So with the Messiah, we fight all phobia. With Muhammad, you live in phobia to the point a lizard your enemy. A black dog is your enemy. A Mickey Mouse your enemy. Christians, Jews, Hindus, everybody, phobia. Pork, music, art, everything is phobia. Go into the bathroom, shaitan is going to play with your anus, phobia. Shaitan sleep in your nose, phobia. Shaitan piss in your ears, phobia. This is the religion of the phobia. So don't call us with phobia, for you are the one who have it. Before you speak about something, look at yourself in the mirror and try to find out who you are. And then you come to the conclusion. Thank you all for being here. Feel free to download the video. I don't keep them for long, as you know. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. And against hatred, we stand. Love your enemy. Bless those who curse you. The word of the King of Kings. Love your enemy. Nobody can come with this, and nobody will come with this. For this is from the Most High, not from the man. A man always have hatred. A man, he seek revenge. A man, he don't forgive. The Messiah, he said, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing, yet he was crucified. Yet he is thinking of them. That is the Spirit of God. Thank you. God bless you, and see you soon. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 